Three, the argument from free will. One, I am either a soul or a physical object. Two, if I am a purely physical object, then I do not have free will. Four, but I do have free will. I freely came to this debate tonight. Four, therefore I am not a purely physical object. I am a soul. Aristotle used this illustration. He said, if I move a rock with my staff, then my, staff moved the, my hand moved the staff, my staff moved the rock, but what moved me? Now, if you want to say that it was a brain firing that caused my hand to move, to cause the staff to move, to cause the rock to move, I would simply have to ask, and what made that brain firing fire? And sure, you could say the same thing, but then we'd end up in an infinite regress and the action would never be accomplished. So here's the point. For there to even be free will, you need a personal free agent that is capable of being the originator of all your actions. But if there is no soul, and all you are is a purely physical machine, then you don't have free will. I don't put a dollar into a Coke machine and it chooses to sing me a song instead of give me a Coke. So if you deny the soul, then you have no grounds for believing in free will. Which literally means, and here's the punchline, that every thought you've ever had was not your own. So literally the last thing you can call yourself tonight is a free thinker. <laughs>